good. Now, Teddy, this stuff takes in it matter. Things that are more unreal and make them real. Now, you got to try this stuff. This is some cool berry dust that I was given by a, by a YouTuber. This is good stuff. Now, oh, 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 I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're live. We're live. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we? I was just enjoying some fantastic nectar as a gift from a beautiful, lovely goddess. And uh, we're going to bring Teddy alive. Alive. How are we, everyone? I hope you're well. Uh, enjoyed uh, the class again. I, I just uh, hope you're doing uh, real well. We're going to do some ice here first, and then I'm going to go do a lot of, uh, try to ca catch up with some of these question and answers. This is some reasons why we do this here, guys. This is a picture. Pretty nasty. This is a young lady, uh, Madagascar, I think. Is that sad? It's just these are sad cases, you know, out there that these these poor children are up against. And that's one reason I'm doing this, because we have to inform and not allow these tumors and things like this to get so big when there's things we can do. And suppression with pharmaceuticals is not the answer. That's obvious. It's obvious, obvious, obvious. It is obvious that this is a lymphatic issue. It's obvious that the lymph system is the one that we're having all the troubles with. It becomes very obvious kidney failure is what kills everyone. And it becomes obvious to those that start tracing the lymph flow that the kidneys are a key essential eliminative organ for cellular waste, which are acids. And you're seeing more and more of what this young lady is going through here. And it's just sad stuff. We get cases like this every day and some much worse. So you can see why we're a little warped here in terms of what's going on out there and why I get a little overpassionate in some of these videos. And don't mean to, to be cruel to anybody, I'm allopathic in particular, but boy, do we have to stop what we're doing and really change that. If not, I guess this is plan's going to be the way it's going to be. But horrible out there. Man uh, really has to mature up with the mind and the ego. That's why spirituality right now is very, very important, is that we all grow. We learn how God made the worlds. We learn a little more of who we are in context of our drama, and that we start looking at our drama and realizing that we can't hurt other people. There's no need to do that. There's no satisfaction in that. It only breeds bad karma. So there, there's, and it just, you know, it just isn't the thing to do, and uh, we really need to straighten that. So let's get some eyes uh, done here. You guys have sent some beautiful pictures in for us, so I'm going to do some more eyes. Uh, like I said, it's limited with the eyes that I can do here, but uh, let's do a few more, because once you guys get this, now keep this science easy and simple. You know, you know I've been going over this academic thing for a couple uh, uh, videos here, and it's not that I'm opposed to academics whatsoever. I was a book freak for, for years, read thousands of books, but in the final analysis, I was more confused, and I walked down roads that I really didn't need to even walk down. But that's the nature of creation and knowledge and things like this. But it, it's all about creation. It really is just the drama. So we're spending all, all this uh, mind power to, to try to play with our dramas better. And, uh, and we lack or lose ourselves. And then we become opinionated. And then we slander everybody. And then, you know, that sort of thing. So I think what's important is that we learn who we are in our beingness. Who are we? Is there a definition to that? And that's what's hard in defining yourself is how do you find something that's infinite? And you see the mind can't go there. This is why you ultimately have to put the mind as a servant for you. Remember that old saying that the mind makes a, 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 a lousy servant but a good master? Well, that's what's going on is the mind is the master and the mind can't no longer be the master. We're a product of intellectualism. We need to now become the product of simplicity. If you look at the, uh, 
the cable uh, networks, you'll see these, uh, pardon the pun, redneck shows on like Honey Boo Boo and Alligator Man and Turtle Man and it just is all hoggers and it just goes on and on and on. And the reason I feel is that simplicity is begging to come in. And that is more spirituality, not hooked to the consciousness, but spirituality is more simplicity. And in simplicity, the mind goes crazy, but all you know so much more and have so much more fun when you keep your lives simple and uh, healthy and, and, and learning more of who you are. So let's get to some eyes here, and then uh, I'll do some uh, videos here on questions and answers. Okay, you okay, Ted? He's alive! That's good fairy dust. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see, um, let's see this one, Drew. Okay, this is the right eye of uh, uh, Mespeth. Uh, I hope he meant this to be read on the YouTube because this is in our YouTube pile. So, uh, M-I-Z-P-A-H, Indian, I believe. Uh, history of cardiac arrhythmia, now resolved after ablation surgery, meaning cutting the nerves, uh, allergies, bronchitis, asthma, and UTI. So, taking a look at this, you say allergies, okay, you're into the lymph system. Now, take a look at this eye. See all the orange there? This is definitely sulfur from the use of antibiotics. So, he's had been having uh, lymphatic problems for years. Remember, the lymph system shows up on top of the blue, wait a minute, this is green. I thought this was supposed to be blue. This is a blue eye that looks green because of the orange and yellow. Mix orange and yellow and blue and you'll get green. And this is what you see. And that, that's, it's, this is a blue eye. All this orange here, all these little lumps and clumps of white and yellow is the lymph system. So he's having a hard time with the lymphatic system. Uh, cardiac arrhythmias can be tied into the asthma in sense of the adrenal glands. And the right adrenal gland is right here. This is the adrenal kidney. Now notice how thick this, this orangish wall is around the kidney here. This is a very chronic kidney weakness and adrenal glands, a lot of lymph stagnation. So until this guy gets this uh, lymph out of here, that kidney could continue to break down, not because he's not eating the right foods or the herbs or anything. It's because this wall has become stagnant lymphatically. And one of the things I'm seeing now is much more a stagnation of lymph Tumors are, are thicker, heavier than they've ever been. This is getting worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. So we really have to get this moving here. This obviously is going to breed interstitial lymphatic constipation, which is malabsorption. And you see that little malabsorption ring? It's a little brown ring around the pupil. But this thick, this thick, thick lymph is in the wall of the gut. But it goes up here in the sinuses, and it goes out here in the lungs. Uh, this is the lower lobe of the right lung pattern. There's a lymph node that's swollen there a little one up in the upper lobe. Uh, this is the groin area here. Uh, then we have the hip area and the pancreatic area. Here's the gallbladder liver area. So this individual needs to, uh, you know, get the, just keep working on that lymph. There's no easy do. And, and the proof that he is having the allergies and the lymphatic things is all this, these blood vessels in the sclera. See all this? A lot of inflammation, systemic inflammation. Systemic inflammation is simply syst systemic lymphatic constipation. It's that simple because the lymph system deals with the acid side of chemistry. Therefore, in the stagnation of acids never leads to anything good. UTIs, urinary tract infections, obviously. And that could continue because of this thick in the wall scenario of the lymph system here. It's got some lower back that's tied right into the kidneys. Remember, L4, L5 is the kidneys. Here is some throat, heavy congestion in the throat. Probably going to have a sore throat here. This is uh, the thyroid, parathyroid area. This is up in the brain. Need to get up in there, drain these sinuses, get into upper circulation. The skin is real weak. See that black ring around, almost a dark ring around the eye? That's the scurf rim or the 
uh, skin area. Wraps around the eye like it wraps around the outer part of the body. This is a very weakened skin, therefore elimination through the skin is minimal. You could tie that in over here at the thyroid gland, knowing that the thyroid is down, that makes body temperature down, that slows up skin elimination, just like uh, the adrenals control the kidneys. So he's got two avenues, uh, major avenues of elimination of cellular waste that's not eliminating well, and he's working through that. Left side of the eye, but pretty much more of the same. We see a lot of lymph here in the bowels here. This is bronchi. This is in the heart area, so strengthening of the heart would be a good idea to strengthen that heart up because I have a feeling in this uh, a ca cardiac arrhythmia, the heart muscle itself is a little weak. And when you look at cardiac arrhythmias, you can look at calcium utilization problems. You can look at autonomic nerve weakness. Uh, either from the adrenals or from systemic congestion of the lymph or genetic cerebellum, things like this, all coming back to the same thing, though. I would strengthen that heart up, get in these adrenals. Here's the adrenal gland area here, the kidney area down here on the left side. Here's the knee. Uh, here is the left testicle or ovary, depending on the male or female scenario here spleen a little bit. This person just needs to get that lymph moving and just make this body healthy. Uh, that's really wants to go in. Here's a little rectal wall weakness, prostate or uterine, depending on the case. Here is the lower back, mid-back. And then we get up in the upper neck, get a little deterioration going on up here in the upper neck area. And we're back here to the thyroid, parathyroid. And as we wind up, this was in the forehead and that sort of thing. So, uh, pretty good genes, but there's a little weakness just about everywhere. So, we just really need to clean this up, and this should be a blue eye. Get that orange out of there. This is a good case for GI broom. Getting this sulfur out of the gut wall is real important. This little dark area, I don't like that. That's in the transverse bowel right there. That's about above the belly button to the left. Uh, just below the uh, xiphoid, this is the transverse colon, got some prolapsus in the transverse. The splenic flexures prolapsed. Now, I didn't learn that in school. All this thing about schools. I love it. Okay. This is the right eye. Now, uh, hi, my name's Mark, or Miss September, user on YouTube. Okay, I finally got pictures of my eyes, and they're not too bad, man. Uh, and it would just be awesome if Robert, oh, thanks, my friend. I've had fibromyalgia type pain on and off since it was, since I was about 15 years old, which got my, got me, my seriously into health, but which mostly got me on the path to find the real me. Oh, I, I like this person here. All this pain in the physical body only leads to disidentify from it, which is true, which you have to ask yourself, and this person really gets that, is that uh, live in the moment, really, why am I going through this? What is it making me do? And see, this person picked right up on it. Exactly, and this is these are the aware souls here where you have them picking up on why they're in pain. It makes them disassociate from this planet, and I think you're seeing that's a lot right. of that. It's breaking souls' attention mm -hmm. from this drama, and, and that's a good point. I really love that. Uh, now being on and off in raw foods for about a year and a half and had the opportunity to try God's herbs as well, here I am at 24 years old wanting to detox and remember cells genetically real bad. <laughs> anyway, thanks for reading this, Robert. Moles rocks. Thank you, dear. Uh, now, is this a male or female? Here's Miss September, but then the name is Mark. So I'm not sure. So forgive me there. Eyelashes are pretty either way. Look how long these eyelashes are. Well, this thing is obvious here, and this, for, for 24 years old, this is a little bit of a dirty eye. So, what we have to do, this is a blue eye, no question. Now, see this white, this white ropey going right around what? The cholerate, the cholerate around the pupil is the bowel, the GI tract, and then the stomach is immediately around the pupil. The stomach has a lot of over-acidity, uh, uh, lymph stagnation in the wall, 
probably underproducing hydrochloric acid. Here is the bowel wall itself, thick with lymph. So there's interstitial lymphatic constipation, gives you that little brown malabsorption ring around the eye. So case in point, now this bowel is doing a lot of Humpty Dumpties. There's a lot of, you know, bowels have, their, our bowels are ringed. And, and you can see that here, but these rings are just a little bit more defined. Seeking for parathyroid. Can we find a parathyroid? Look what, well, no, wait, this is a right eye. Parathyroid, thyroid will be right in there. Now, a little nodule in the thyroid or certainly a little lymph swelling there. Tonsil, same way. That right there is in the parathyroid, so we'll just have to keep watching this. This is the throat, upper neck. A lot of lymph in the upper neck area. See that thick white stuff up there? And right there's the throat area. This is the right eye. Straight down is 6 o'clock is the leg. So we've got a leg weakness, a knee weakness here. Here's the adrenals right here sitting in a semi-chronic state with the kidneys and a lot of lymph stuck in the kidneys here. This is some maybe bladder and coccyx weakness, lower back to tailbone. This is the uh, hip area, groin area, and then now we're into the ovary or testicle, uh, into the pancreas, and into the uh, gallbladder here. Uh, there's a lot of lymph stuck in the liver, need to clean that out, clean the gallbladder out, but it's just really moving lymph. This is in your lower lobe of your uh, right lung, so you want to practice deep breathing. Remember, abdominally breathe, not thoracically breathe. Le breathe from the abdominal muscles first, pull it down in. Up here is in the brain area, pituitary area here. It, it, it looks like the bowels ballooned up there, prolapsed here. This would be a big bowel pocketed area affecting the pituitary. Uh, need to get up in the head there. Uh, clean this out. This is the right ear. So there's definitely, I had to have some ear problems growing up or feel like they have the swimmer's ear thing. There's the uh, cerebellum here. This is the left eye. Same type of thing with the bowels. Really need to clean up the gut here. This is really a lot of mucus in the stools you want to see. This is a lot of bowel area here. This is going up the back on the left side. Look at all that lymph down the back. Here's the lower back tied to the kidneys, L4, L5 area. Here's mid-back right here. A lot of inflammation mid-back, upper neck uh, breaking down on you. Here's throat. Look at this throat right here. Uh, a lot of sore throats coming, or at least... Uh, you know, the, re the repair of this is important. And right there is what I'm looking for. Parathyroid weakness right around there. See where I'm going around here? And that's tied to this humpy. See how these bowels are dropping down here? See how this drops down here and then goes out here? That's prolapsing of the colon. And it's prolapsing down. Same thing here, more prolapsing. Uh, so that's what we see in the right eye is we see uh, a lot of these uh, bowel pocketed areas or uh, accentuated bowel areas. And this is the kidney and adrenals again, the knee again, the groin again, the hip again, the ovary or testy again, both sides here. Uh, this person got a little beat up in their, their body. Little weaknesses scattered all over the place. This is the uh, back of the head, the cerebellum, the dizzy center, the equilibrium center. Uh, you've got left ear issues, left shoulder. Um, the bronchial trunk needs to come clean a little bit. This is the upper rib wall, the either chest or breast area, weakness in the left side. So really, this person needs to really get in and move those lymph and start strengthening in the future. Take, a, take our formula that we have coming to strengthen cells. Mm -hmm. And and like uh, like the um, uh, ginsengs and the uh, and the uh, antlers and stuff like this and ultimate immune ultimate immune Absolutely. is a good one and we got another You're one introducing those more yeah. in the protocols right? more more in the You're protocols ultimate immune mm -hmm. because of that yeah. because this person needs to clean the tissues but strengthen the tissues yeah. this is a good case to show you that this isn't a strong constitution case this is mm -hmm. a mid constitution case. Uh, more like my body, and you just have to strengthen, 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 strengthen. So this is the person that has to clean and strengthen. And we have a, I have a new formula just for strengthening the cells of the body, not a detoxifying formula. So that immune would be great. The immune would be great in a case yeah. like this. Yeah. Absolutely. Now these eyes came pretty good for brown eyes. I thought these eyes came out very well, well lit up, particularly the left eye. Let's look at the right eye first. These are definitely brown eyes. Now I want you to look at the difference between 
a brown eye and marks. You can definitely see that this is a blue eye. Now there's some eyes that'll tease you and it's hard to tell. And don't be afraid to admit that you don't can't tell the color yet. There's nothing wrong with admitting if you don't know something. Uh, some people have problems, think you should know everything. You don't have to know everything. That's, that's impossible. Nobody does, except for the narcissistic people that think they do. Here's the first person. See this? This is Misbeth. See the, see the green? This is definitely a blue eye. You can see the, the contrast here. That's brown eyes, photo. huh? That's a yeah, photo. this is even greater. Look at the uh, look at the left eye. So we'll go to the left eye first. Let me see here. This is resending your email of your attention. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. I am attaching my sister's eyes here. Let's see who this is. Oh, lovely name, Lotus. Nice. The Lotus. Remember, we talked about the thousand petal lotus in the two classes ago, and the importance of the beauty of that, the powerhouse of this world. Anyway, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Now, brown eyes typically have these radii solaris. These are these uh, toxic. I call them toxic tunnels. They start down here on the bowel wall and going into the stomach. These are genetic lines. Uh, as the generations go, they start out small, and then they work themselves deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Stemming up to the brain, right? Yeah, right oh. up into the brain. This is all the brain up here, mm -hmm. Drew. And look, at see this? That translucence? That's cholesterol. See, so you can tell that this is just an acid feed up in here from the bowels, let alone the brain itself not being able to drain. Uh, and so these are toxic tunnels. Um, this cuts up through the pituitary gland. This cuts up through the pineal gland, which is your ability to rest. So a lot of people that have this have insomnia. The pituitary controls literally everything. This is starting to move toward, but not in the cerebellum, though. Ooh, the nerve rings. The nerve rings, yeah. a good choice right here. Very These nice. are nerve rings, like age rings on a tree. These are nerve rings, and they come about when you lose your adrenals. Well, take a look at this adrenal gland. This is a left eye, and this is 6 o'clock. This is the adrenal gland. Pretty dark. So that's a chronic adrenal gland, and the proof is what it's done to the nervous system. And this you consider the myelin sheaths of the nervous system. This is where you see the shingles where you have a viral attacking weaknesses. And I hate to use the word attacking because they're attracted to it. That's a magnetic factor of creation. And this is just creation at large. And we just have to learn the rules and abide by the rules, not think we're so narcissistic that man doesn't have to abide by nature's rules. That's crazy. And he's learning some hard lessons this way. And so we have the kidneys, we have a rectal wall weakness, and this might be even a little vaginal or male weakness right here. Here's groin, and this is going to be the testier ovary on the left side. This is a woman, so this is going to be her left ovary. This is getting close to her left breast area. Hard to see right in here, it looks like some congestion in the lungs. But it's a pretty good constitution. They, they got some problems definitely in the lower burner down here, kidneys, adrenals, and that's setting up, them up for everything else. But these, these radius solaris in the brain, I don't like them. A lot of congestion in the upper neck and back area here, throat a little bit, but pretty good genes. Get in here and, and clean this up, it'll be pretty good, but you got to because of this cholesterol placking. Pretty good sclera, but this shows, see how this is dark here? And notice this squiggly line comes right into where that darkness is. See how all that is right there? So that's just showing you that the, her back, her lower back, lower to mid back's in trouble right here. And it's affecting the tish, surrounding tissue. And then this is up uh, more probably in the forehead or um, tonsil area. Would you recommend um, bones capsules possibly? Yeah, bones capsules. Uh, definitely want to recommend brain and nerve brain for nerve. this, uh, number two, because you got to start strengthening these myelin sheaths. Mm -hmm. With that said, though, you got to get this adrenal too, because if you Absolutely. don't get this adrenal gland, it makes it 
awful hard for the herbs to do their job without some help from the mass from the glands that do this. These are very important to get rid of, or at least to work on, these radius solaris. Radii solaris. They tie right into the stomach and bowel, so you always clean up the gut to get rid of them. you got to cut them in the bud right here, and they're growing out of this colon and this uh, stomach. So we clean this up. Upper circuit, brain and nerve, easy. You don't want this person to have a stroke, and I don't know how old this person is, but there's that cholesterol ring up there. Uh, she's 43 years old, okay? She's five foot seven. She only weighs 80 pounds. Well, that's a problem uh, and has been suffering from RA, which is rheumatoid arthritis, since the past 15 to 20 years. She is totally convinced with your teachings has been trying to follow the fruit diet for almost eight months now. But every four to five days, if she ends up eating some vegetarian food, her uh, and, arth and arthritis symptoms flare up. Isn't that interesting? How that when she uh, is doing the, the the fruits and stuff, her pains are away. But when she goes down and steps down into the vegetable kingdom, they come back. And this is on neurologically too. When you look at this, uh, the lower the the vibration of the food, the lower the nerve response. And she's already has weak nerves nervous system. So this nervous system loves fruit. Mm -hmm. It's so weak that vegetables, it, it, it makes her feel the pain more because it doesn't give enough strength to that nervous A strong nervous system, no pain. A weak nervous system, a lot of pain. The weaker, remember, the weaker the things are, the more toward death things are going, more painful, all these problems. There's a lot of radius solaris in the right side here. And this is all going into the brain attached to the stomach here. So we want to get that all cleaned up. If you had more of this cerebellum, then you would have the setup for MS here. Uh, you have a better cholesterol issue on the right side here, but you still see that faint ring. Again, more nerve rings here. Here's the kidney and adrenals here. Here's your um, uh, appendix and your groin here, pretty dark here. Here's your hip. Here's your your uh, pancreas needs to be worked on, and the gallbladder needs to be worked on. Pancreas and gallbladder. Use the uh, uh, liver gallbladder formula, and that'll help with the pancreas. Getting your lymph cleaned up and your bowels and your kidneys filtering is how you cut all this in the bud here. Real dark here in the kidneys and adrenals, though. This is real. Can't over overemphasize the importance of working and making these kidneys and adrenals healthy. And again, we have some upper neck issues here, or upper back here. Maybe tied in here with some mid to lower we're back here. But good strong genes outside of that, really. It's a stomach and bowels is that center core that's making the wheels radiate out like this. And we, we need to clean that. You need to get into the kidneys and adrenals on this case because, and she just has systemic acidosis because of it. I don't see any, and here's the case where I don't see any orange in here, and hard to in a brown eye anyway. Generally, remember I said with rheumatoid arthritis, you generally, not every case, generally see the sulfur. I don't see any sulfur here yet. It brown hard, hard to see, so uh, hard to say. Enough to say, though, systemic acidosis requires systemic work and going right into the kidney and adrenals that control that. Let's see... Uh, does that mean that all clean eating she has done before uh, going astray? No. What this means is that she's getting better and she's getting more sensitive and, uh, and, and better in that way. But don't get upset with rheumatoid arthritis. There's a lot of work to clean that lymph system and get these uh, acids out of these tissues. And don't forget to keep on a fungal killer because fungus leaves uh, uric acid. And this is another big component here. She is a vegetarian. I would be with RA. Are you kidding? You have to be vegetarian. You can't do proteins. With kidneys like this and adrenals, doing protein would be very, very unbeneficial to you and serious problems. Uh, let me see. What would be the next best thing for her after glanders in case you think she might need to take glanders? I think she... Now, this is a case where you would definitely, in my opinion, use an adrenal glandular. Those are chronic adrenals. And those nerve rings are really verifying that. That's not an easy do. You might take a pituitary glandular for one bottle and just perk up that pituitary gland, but I would stay on the adrenals and get this kidney filtering and repair these kidneys and the GI tract. And you see, when you think of kidneys, adrenals, and GI tract, you're at the core of all the eliminative organs adding the skin here. So you're at the core of that. The eliminative organs are essential to be well or there's no elimination.
Simple. Simple. Simplicity. Exactly. <laughs> Simplicity. You don't get the eliminating organs eliminating, you're not eliminating. I don't know how simple that has to be. Also, you say that lemon is good for detox. Will it also be good for arthritis? Maybe not. And that's a good question. The citruses might not be. Now, she could test fresh squeezed orange juice, fresh squeezed maybe grapefruit if it's ruby reds or something, and maybe C, but I'll say that more likely she'll have pain with this. Mm -hmm. She knows she has to stay away from nightshades, tomatoes, potatoes, eggplant, uh, green peppers. You could probably get by with reds and oranges. How about freshly pressed apple juicing? Well, right? that would be that the key. Happens. All that. That would be the key yeah, for her to be on. Yeah. All watermelons, fresh squeezed. And, and even watermelon is so red. It's not it's out of season now. I'd probably mm -hmm. stay away from that. All that, mm -hmm. that red is so aggressive that watermelon can actually cause pain. It's amazing. Uh, yeah. Went out of season. Went out of season. Well, right. when I had my dental right. surgery, I was sucking down watermelon and it made my, my surgery hurt even more. It's aggressive. Right. But again, it's pulling. It's aggressive. And, and it can make pain hurt more. Yeah. Okay. She has been suffering from a very long time. Your advice will be... Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Well, all I can say here, uh, uh, Lotus, is that your sister has to detox herself and get into the bowels. You have to go. Bone? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's take a little break, uh, Drew, and then uh, we'll come... You, can you come back? Or are you Possibly. trapped? Well, you want to cut yeah. this now? We'll yeah. finish this another time, and then I'll go to question and answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's have Chris break this, uh, cut this, and then and then we'll come back. You and I. Okay. So let me get up here, and you can set me up here, because. Okay. Good. Sorry about that. Uh, Drew is being requested. Your mother. No, no. <laughs> Your mother wants you to. Do. I have people to help out there. I know so. you do. I know we're busy. So thanks so much. Lies to see. Have fun. All right. See you, my Bye. friend. All right. So let's go down here and uh, we'll answer some questions here and try to get you hooked up with that. Uh, maybe we'll cut this or just leave this on here. Uh, perhaps uh, I'll have Chris just cut that off and then we'll start this as a new. So, good morning <laughs> or afternoon. No, it's still morning. It's a Monday morning and we had a no show, so it was able to. Sorry for the interruption, but a lot going on around here. This is from Andy. And uh, hi, Dr. Morris. I am 39 year old male that has been sick for over nine years. In 2003, I came down with a flu-like illness and have never been the same. Before I got sick, I was an elite athlete, champion wrestler, wow, and served in the Army National Guard as an infantry soldier. <laughs> uh, strong guy here. I believe all of the Army vaccination inoculations I received are affecting my health. No kidding. And I just did a video yes, um, Friday about that and this is this is so true all these vaccinations inoculations that you guys go through and that are horrible they're just horrible you've got to detox this body out that's the problem and of course how old are you 39 well I don't know how much live vaccine they're using now but uh, it's just a horrible situation I remember on the front and I still have that article on the front of Tampa Tribune where uh, a, a mother was looking at her infant and the headlines was infant contracted polio from the vaccine. You know how often that happened? How many times the vaccine gave kids polio? Polio went up almost 600 or more percent when they started inoculating for polio. Polio went up. 600 and some percent through the inoculations. The story that Wallach or, or one of these guys tell in the Emerging Virus book, how, uh, how they changed the symptoms to meningitis to get away from the polio because it just, it, it was obvious. And, and what they ceased to focus on is culturing mediums. And why the difference between children who inoculate that go into some very serious issues from convulsing to seizures to, to kidney and, and liver failures to ADD, ADHD, etc., etc., etc. What's the difference? 
You know, this ignorance of all apathy has to wake up one of these days. It's just a sad thing. Uh, my symptoms are as follows. Low back pain. Now, where are we? Low back pain. We're at the kidneys. We know that. We know this gentleman is following with the kidneys and adrenals. No question. And where he's been going, he's been pumping some proteins. He's had to, to get that energy, to get that power, to get that strength. Well, he's kept his kidneys They're real bad. So lower back pain, kidneys, night sweats. What's happening? He's failing to move his limp, and he's starting to feel it. He's starting to feel acidosis all in him, and he's having night sweats, meaning his body's trying to use the skin to move the limps. Muscle pain, acidosis setting in, stiffness, tightness, soreness, all this is setting in, systemic acidosis. You can call it RA. You can call it arthritis of any kind. Who cares? Same stuff. Same causative factors, guys. Same causative factors. Muscle pain, muscle twitching. Well, here we get into, remember, acidosis and the body's defense against acidosis is exactly the loss of calcium. So then you have spasticity and you have uh, uh, from twitching to uh, tremors to actual convulsions and, and, and etc. The same things going on there. Bone loss. Absolutely. What's stealing the calcium out of you? Going right back to this thing. Acidosis. Absolutely. Hot flashes. We're back to that thyroid. And also a little, little look into the night sweats. Now, we could move on up to the pituitary here. We'd have to take a look at your case, man. Body aches, big time. You know, systemic, you're in kidney failure. And all the where you've been is just broke down your kidneys and, and adrenal glands. Muscle uh, arches. Fatigue, brain fog, and unrefreshed sleep. Absolutely. You high systemic acidosis. It can be affecting the pe uh, pineal gland, etc., etc., etc. I have osteoporosis and hypercoagulation. You're way too acidic, bro. Way too many proteins in your past. You've got to get away from that. Uh, his IgG is positive for epstein Barr virus. Easy to get out. epstein Barr. that's like, phew, you know, that's the easiest virus I've ever seen to get out. But don't blame that on chronic fatigue. Uh, blame your adrenals. Blame your adrenals and understand viruses are only there for the, uh, the removal of cells. I spent the majority of my day in bed now. Is that not sad? Here's a 39-year-old lad that served in the military that was an athlete, and now he's gone. And this is what's going on. Uh, 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 my friend, you've got to, to go to the uh, green stuff to build up, but get, you've got to detox your body and, and get yourself back in a wellness state. And then, and then now you can go and learn what, uh, how to, to keep strong and have some, some far better strength with, with uh, happiness and joy with it instead of stiff, sore pain and all that other stuff. Absolutely. I spend the majority of my day in bed. I, I have my own nutrition company, and I run it on my laptop while lying in bed. But it's getting harder to function. I'm writing this to you lying in bed. Well, let's get you out of bed, man. Let's get you out of bed. you got to get on that fruit diet, though, at least, uh, at least uh, through the day, and then maybe some vegetables and something warm at night for a little while until you get into this deeper and deeper and deeper. For those that are having problem with fruit, and we've discussed this before, very aggressive, slow up. Slow up on your fruit, increase your veggies until you can, till you know. And if you're real sensitive and you're detox, you'll know when the body's pulling on the veggies. We just read a case here and you know it's like, nope, you need to get that little step. Nothing wrong with going slower down that process. A lot of you guys are really ballsy, really strong, and you just dove right into this. Uh, but in reality, it's better to slow up. But when you're hurting and in pain, sometimes pedal to the metals of better advice. You have, to, you have to really be intuitive about your own body and what it can take and what it can't take. Also used to take caffeine and ephedrine pills. No kidding. So here's another thing you've done to yourself. And I am sure I have adrenal... Oh, you hit it right on the head, bro. Adrenal exhaustion. You hit it right on the head. The problem with that is the adrenals control the kidneys amongst the nervous systems and everything else. So you see how your nervous system's going down. It's a little prone to spasticity and twitching. Uh, uh, this is uh, all going. He said, I used to drink six cans of Mountain Dew. Of course, Mountain Dew is the best of them all, of course. The most mucus-forming, congesting of them all, but the, the best taste. Every, every day I stopped and went through withdrawal symptoms. I bet. <laughs> uh, the ephedrine just, uh, just wrecked your adrenals. Just wrecked your adrenals. So uh, that's what we need to get that uh, neurotransmitters back. And that's getting into your adrenals and getting your adrenals healthy, man. 
and, and this might be a case if you took enough of that where you'd have to use a glandular to, to actually inspire that adrenal to come back quicker because this lad could be in some chronic levels of adrenal exhaustion here. I have stopped eating meat, boy, would I? I'd have done that yesterday. Nuts, beans, anything that's a protein, my friend, don't do them for a while. You just have to put what you've thought and what you did on the back burner, get yourself well, and then you'll be able to see that, whoops, this is where we're going wrong in athlete training and everything else. We need to bring in the raw, we need to bring in the green juices, we need to bring in the fruit, we need to detoxify the body, remove the restrictions so there's no restrictive energy flows. All of these things need to be thought of in, in the movement and activity of the body and the cells that comprise it. It's just common sense. We talk about training and everything, but we're not really thinking at the cellular level, which we need to get there. I eat predominantly raw vegan now. Good man. I brought a juice machine and I am drinking juice every day. Good start, man. I start today with 16 ounces of lemon and cayenne water. Woo hoo! Good. You're doing just what you need to do, but man, you just keep tearing it up and tearing it up. I have done a 14 day juice fast. I am rebounding 20 minutes every day. Make sure you're filtering though before you do too much of that or it could uh, create some more things. Hot and cold showers three times a week. This guy's on top, man. I'm also doing a coffee enema every day. Stop. No, use the bowel formulas. They clean, restore, increase the health of. They don't innervate. Coffee is an innervation and a stimulation. Never leads to anything good but severe constipation, over liver uh, stimulation, all kinds of problems. Stop that. Don't need to do that, man. Yeah, use the use the use the herbs. Works so much better, and they'll also clean the wall, clean in the wall. I'm also doing. A, I have done one liver flush, but only got out four stones. Well, that's a good thing. I mean, I'm impressed. If you only got out four stones, I mean, you might have a bunch and you might not. Don't overly uh, worry about that right now. You've never flushed. Get your body in a, in a health program of raw foods and detoxification. If you have any stones, the liver will dissolve them and clean them all out of the gallbladder stuff. No worry about that, uh, at least right now. So far, I am not feeling any better. Well, it sounds like you've got some digging to do. I, uh, you need to get yourself on a herbal program, get on adrenals, get on a couple of kidneys, get into the limps, and really take this on in a focused uh, detoxification, and you'll do well. It might take you a little while to get yourself back feeling well, and remember, healing crisis too. Which of your herbal formulas should I take? Well, again, when you're detoxifying, there's a first kit for two weeks, and this is what we teach you in the class, to go on that two-week kit, and why it's a dewormer. You always deworm all your clients you always, and yourself. You always want to do this. Look at the monsters within me, and that's on Animal Planet, and it's enough to wake you up. There's a, I mean, it's gnarly and garlic, and it, and they're not they're not talking about general worm infestation. They're generally talking about things that are that are causing people's lives. That 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 there's the other side of this is what people have festering in them that do not have these symptoms. So worm detoxification is key essential on a planet. Animals eat herbs and stuff to do that to themselves occasionally. So really, I think, important for man. The islanders have done it for years. We must take that on. Uh, so I would uh, definitely want to deworm yourself for two weeks. After that, I use two kidney formulas, two lymphatic formulas, one capsule, one liquid. Go right down that road. You wanted the GI tract, stomach and bowel. I would definitely uh, get the GI broom if you can tolerate it. Uh, get get uh, uh, you know that that uh, get on the adrenals. I would definitely do a, a pure uh, uh, New Zealand glandular, and I would uh, do at least. Uh, you might have to start with the higher ones, the four hundreds or something, uh, if you're that low and that fatigued. If not, start with the two hundreds and build yourself up. Um, I would uh, in time move to upper circuit and brain and nerve uh, as soon as you can. Uh, to, to add that to the package, stay on parasite M for a while, get the fungus and stuff out, and really start detoxifying. Go fruit all day long, heavy grapes, and then at night maybe do your greens and stuff like that and, until you need to take a deeper step. But I, I, that's how my approach would be to that. Uh, so drinking a juice combination every day is good to heal from osteoporosis. Carrot, apple, pear, ginger, cucumber, kale, beet, celery, and dandelion. Well, let's say this, Andy. You have to also understand it's about the utilization of calcium. And you're talking about some thyroid issues here with the hot flashes and the night sweats. So I have to say here, we're either up in the hand and uh, not good sleep. So we know we're up here. We know that this lymph is backed up in your head. So it's affecting your pineal gland and probably your pituitary, which is then affecting the the thyroid, but it, it also could be an individual thyroid. That's where your eyes can tell or fill out the health questionnaire. The second thing on that 
is the parathyroid. You want to heal from osteoporosis, one, you got to remove what's causing it. Well, what causes the body to move calcium from one uh, set of tissues to another or from one set of tissues to the fluid? Acidosis, chemistry, acidosis. So you got to first get your lymph moving so the body won't draw calcium from your bones anymore. Make sense? Two, to get it back, you can use the bones formula, use kelp. Kelp is an excellent food source for everything, particularly bones, because it has a high iodine. But you've got to think about parathyroid. You've got to do that. If the pituitary suppressing thyroid, parathyroid, you got to hit that. And the eyes that really show that or more information about your case would help. So I hope that helped you, my friend. Andy, get your health back. We'll help you get that back. Get get up on there and get on the herbs. You'll do better. And uh, you'll get yourself through this. You're a young man here. This is Mark and Tasha. Uh, hey, Doc. Hey, Mark. And Regina from Canada. Love you too, guys. I love all you guys. You guys are so great. It's just this is... We're making a difference. Come hell or high water. We're making a good difference. And, you know, I've talked about the, the academics and the, the spirituality. Keep that all in balance. You know, you can use your mind, but keep it in balance. It is so important to gain awareness, which is yourself, and let the mind go on trips that you need it to get. If you need to research something, send your mind. But don't get so trapped up in now the drama. Let the drama unfold outside of you while you view the drama. And, uh, and, and get your body's healthy. And you'll be free. You'll get your joy back. You'll enjoy the ecstasy of all life. You'll see the oneness of all life. It's only when we restrict our attention to so much thoughts and desires that we lose the interconnection of all life. We isolate and separate ourselves when really we're God expressing itself in an unlimited amount of, of individual pieces. How often do you come across someone who can't do fruits? That's a good question because we have. You've seen that. Even Serge kind of left us because he felt the fruits was too... He didn't feel he was getting better. Who knows what reality is on that case? It's enough to say, though, that some people can't tolerate the fruits. It's too strong for them or something. So definitely back up and go slower. I think that's a very important thing. I'm not just pushing fruititarianism. I think man will get there maybe someday. But in terms of deeper detoxification, that's a key. However, there is, some people are just can't handle it. Their limps and everything else, they have too much candida, all this kind of stuff coming down on them. So you want to go slow, do the herbal kits, start working yourself that road, at least do one meal of fruit, and then the rest vegetable matter and green juices until you get better to do green juices and so many salads, uh, get to your more of like your cucumbers and your uh, um uh, avocados and things like this and go that way with your more veggie uh, fruit and then come down to the fruits as you go along. No big deal. There's no, you know, everybody's different and we just have to work through our weaknesses. Doesn't mean the system doesn't work. It just means that the individuals have problems that we have to help them work through. It's that simple. We're all unique. We're all unique in genetic weaknesses and our journeys and everything else are, are identifying with our states of consciousness as opposed to ourselves as consciousness. So there's all kinds of things out there that affects wellness. No question about it. Uh, even uh, bumping uglies with other universes like governmental universes and stuff. So uh, I have reached a bunch of your herbs but can't eat fruit without getting a tightness. Then I'd stop eating it. That's for sure. Too strong on you. You got to move your lip there. Use the green drinks. Uh, real power up with real strong greens like alfalfa and dandelion and parsley and, and move that way, you know. And then watch which fruits you might be able to tolerate and just slow up a little bit. That's okay, man. You don't have to worry about it, man. So thanks so much, Mark and uh, Regina. You guys are kicking butt. But go slow if you have to. No, no big deal. Go, go the vegetables first and then work yourself down that road. No shame in that at all. This is L-U-C-A-S-R-O-B-Y-79. Thank you for all the... Oh, thanks so much. Well, thanks for your comment here. Uh, really nice. Thank you so much for that. I uh, really appreciate that. Thanks and welcome aboard here. Thanks so much. We're trying. We're trying to take care of so kids don't come in the world like this. We're trying. It's a mess out there. It's a mess. Heather, honey, 
I am resubmitting my question on massage due to your very... I'm sorry, sweetheart. Several weeks ago, I had a massage hoping that would help my lymph system to drain. When turning over on the table and at the end of the massage, I became very lightheaded. I left very discouraged feeling that I was worse than when I went in. I was sick for more than a week with more lightheadedness, nausea, and headaches. I have felt better, but the symptoms uh, return often. Note, I had my tonsils removed when I was 8. I am now 49. Well, this lady brings up, Heather brings up a really good point here. Uh, and not to be narcissistic about it, but if you take took a look and you looked at all the different modalities out there, you can divide them off into curative modalities, therapeutic modalities, and maybe you could add a side adjunct to treatment modalities, meaning that they treat symptoms and they help you in the immediate uh, 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 now to deal with the symptom. Now, that's obvious. You have allopathy in there and you have homeopathy in there. Those are the two most treatment-based systems on the planet, homeopathy being the most sensible, obviously, and obviously far less. Homeopathy never hurts anybody that I know of, uh, but uh, we know allopathy is over a million people each year die from that, so that's a no-brainer. Curative modalities, there's only one, and you could add naturopathic medicine now, bite my tongue, into treatment-based thinking. This is a sad place for naturopathic, uh, naturopaths to be, is in the consciousness of treatment-based thinking, even if it is with supplements. Wrong thinking, wrong place, and here we have a supplement salesperson. So, it's just the wrong thinking. You need causative modality as naturopathy. Always been, always has been, always will be. Naturopathy is simply just a word coined by Benedict Lust, meaning the laws of nature. That nature past follow the laws of nature, understand the laws of nature, understand the laws of man to the point that we don't get so much into theories and understand how chemistry and physics impacts the cell or, or, the, or the consciousness or anything else, but particularly the cell. And understanding that, that's what naturopathy is. It's a pure science. It's not treatment-based thinking. It doesn't use isolates, meaning taking chemistry out of the whole and making some kind of chemical element or compound or something. It, it's not, it doesn't deal with that. It deals with causative factors. Now, now that, now that we know that the lymph system and all these high-protein diets and all that this has broken down man's eliminative organs in his gut tissue, we have a lot of work ahead of us because the, 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 the fact that the kidneys have gotten down has backed up everything else, including the adrenals. Now everybody's facing severe adrenal problems. We see it everywhere. The meat, of course, has been giving us the epinephrine, which this young man took as a bodybuilder and a wrestler, and he lost his adrenals for it. This is, this is what we've been teaching you guys, really important. And these cases just bring this right up into our face. Well, if it's into our face, why is it into their face? Because they see it more than we do. Well, because they're not listening. They're not awake. They're part of the sleeping. We need to become part of the awakened. And everyone on this planet needs to become a little bit more awakened a little bit, particularly those that are, that are involved in others' wellness or in controlling others' uh, destiny like governments. We, we can't keep ruining the planet. I, these souls have to be corralled and, and uh, given some, uh, some enemas and stuff and some good juices and stuff. So uh, that, that is problematic. Remember I told you, we think we lost one of our, our, our co-workers that worked for us from a very aggressive massage and that uh, we feel that it's created an aneurysm in her and she died from the aneurysm a few days after the massage. Uh, I, I think that has to be considered. I don't know how they teach. I did have a massage therapy school beside my office for years, but and I it was an okay massage school. <laughs> but it's enough to say I don't don't think they're the the teachers of massage are that aware in all cases about the parathyroid and the issues of thin capillary or vascular walls due to the acidosis and the, the removal of calcium from that in the effort to create a blood homeostasis, etc., etc., etc. So this is this is what we're up against. So I'm real cautious about that. What, what this massage therapist did was get everything moving. The problem is you're not filtering. And that's the problem. When you're not filtering, massage is just moving everything around. Well, you're seeing everything's moved around all right. And of course, without the tonsils, you got it right on the head there. You guys are getting smart. I love you guys. This is really key for the survival of our species. So keep going. Uh, thanks for writing with all the ups and downs here.
But nothing's perfect here. I mean, it's just the nature of the things. We're all just trying to learn and grow. I'm certainly trying to learn and grow more. Then none of us have the end of all. As soon as you think that, you might as well give up because you know your ego just grabbed your butt. So th this is something we're all growing and learning. And whatever we can do to help each other and to grow more, we should do it. We're one. We're one. The many is one. So I think you're right on with thinking of that, uh, Heather, with that. Um... I think massage is good when you have immediate stiff and tightness and knowing that you're only relieving that just for a short period of time that the real facts are you got to apply chemistry and physics to this you got to get into the body and you have to remove these obstructions remember we've had a discussion on the difference between acupuncture and massage and all this the therapeutic modalities so remember therapeutic modalities is what we use to help get people well in our journey of detoxification, chiropractics, uh, acupuncture, massage therapy, things like this. Valuable if you understand their limitations and what they're good for. But you always have to go back and ask why, why, why? Why would I need an acupuncture treatment? Why would I need my spine adjusted? What's causing all these obstructions and all this inflammation and, all, and, and the pulling of my spine or the pulling of my muscles? What's causing all this? Is it the diseases? Am I being attacked by the very world I came into? Or do I just don't know the reality of life here on this planet? Obviously, man is not into the laws of nature. He's not doing things right. Those that do, look at all, the, all you beautiful YouTubers and Facebook people. All you guys that are doing it, even though you might be struggling with fruits and all, working yourself through this, you're all getting there. And you all will get there if you keep wiggling around this, this, this road full of pitfalls and you get yourself on the other side. Because remember, you're, you living on this planet is a toxic, a toxic experience, period. It's toxic at the mind, it's toxic in the emotions, and it's toxic in the physical body. That's your three main bodies. And these, all these bodies are toxic. Look at it. People don't respect each other. They hate the differences instead of love the differences. Look at that. And it's just, it's a cry and shame. We should love the fact that there are different colored people, that there are different sized people, that everybody's different looking. I think that's cool as I'll get out. We just got to start that love principle again. How, uh, now, she has snowy urine, but you're just not get. I mean, just keep moving your lymph. You got to do this yourself with chemistry and physics, meaning with herbs and, and, and diet. Uh, with your juices and your fruits. When you start getting better with that, you'll see that. But you've got, obviously, some real uh, uh, restrictions of lymph flow up here. That would suggest bowels, colon, transverse in particular. So look at your eyes, but I think that you're going to find that the GI tract is where your main issue is. If you're having stagnation here, you can't break loose, even though you're seeing some sediment. How will I know when my lymph starts to drain? Well, the sediment is the only way. Now, now again, here's another, you know, a little fallacy in this is that you have two kidneys and one can filter uh, quicker than another. So you can see one side of your body theoretically getting better and the other one not so much. I mean, we see this a lot in here. I mean, you have two, two halves, two separate halves coming together, sharing some common ground here. I'm working on your detox kit number one. I'm trying to improve my diet. Well, you want to really tear this up a lot more than that, dear. You want to really get and really get up there on the fruit diet and move all this out because this dizziness and everything is lightheadedness and nausea is telling me you've got something going on here. You might want to go to a chiropractor. Again, this might be helpful and have him look at this upper neck and see if you didn't tweak or the, the, the massage didn't tweak you, tweak you out and maybe put your head back uh, normal and that might help you with that. i definitely check that out. Uh, but if it's not a chiropractic issue, then it's a lymphatic issue and it's probably both considering that you haven't had your tonsils uh, for quite some time and that sort of thing and you had lymphatic problems back then to have them removed so it was good thinking on your part Heather I think that again you just really got to get in there have a chiropractor look at this see if they'll adjust that to help you uh, with that and at the same time this is all reaps of the cerebellum stuff right here nausea uh, going along with lightheadedness and dizziness that's all all up here headaches up here so this her brain needs to drain it. And remember, the, the longer the years that you're involved in lymph stagnation, the thicker and the harder this lymph is, becomes exceedingly more difficult. Exceedingly more difficult 
to uh, to to get this to break up in any timely manner. You see some of these people on there that are suffering because their lymph nodes are so hard and they're getting a little over anxious with the fact that uh, some of their tumors aren't getting better because their lymph nodes are too hard. That's a problem. Uh, I don't know what else other than what we know to do to do that. I, I don't know. You'll just have to keep uh, working with thoughts on that and, and working with the lymph nodes and what we do to try to break them up. Um, you know, you could... I know people are infusing some uh, some uh, uh, bicarbonate in some of the tumors, but I had one lady that infused a lot of bicarbonate in her tumor, and it didn't look so good. So I don't know. I'm I don't know what to say. You know, we we, we are, are, are. This is why I'm I'm so aggressive with this, and why why we need to all work together instead of oppose each other because they're just they have just got one sick world here, and a lot of people are hurting, and they're they're advanced, and it's just sad. It's sad, sad, sad. Lost another mother the other day. Uh, two babies, 30 years old. Her breast was so bad. And the pictures I got from the breast wasn't so bad till her husband took a picture of her sideways. Uh, it, it, was, it was horrible. So I just, I just I feel, feel real sorry. You do everything you can. I'm watching your videos and up to 107. <laughs> That's a lot of videos. And uh, and watching your current ones as they come available. I am grateful. Oh, thanks. Well, get yourself up there, Heather, and uh, really start moving that lymph. Uh, I would work down those neural lymphatic points. I didn't. I don't know if I showed you that on the video. We show you in class what those are, but uh, just keep working yourself down. I'd probably be real cautious with the massage until I really start getting my bowels cleaned up more and getting a better drainage and get more. I'd candle my ears right now, sweetheart. Try to get three candles per ear. See if I can pull some of that pressure off of there so it maybe relieve some of that lightheadedness. Have the chiropractor look at that. These are some of the immediate things you can do. Try to get on a real high fruit diet. See if you can get a, a sinus drainage, a cold and flu-like symptom, and you should be pretty good then. And that'll help open up that doorway. Yeah. Heather in Utah. Oh, Utah should be getting pretty cooling off pretty soon. Whew. Superhuman 991. Hello, I was wondering about sleep. Could you talk about it in terms of all the information out there about one should be up with the sun and go down with the sun, uh, uh, which means sleeping a decent amount? <laughs> yeah. I was talking about that uh couple days ago in a video because I went to I had last week as a vacation week just from the class and everything but I was so busy I couldn't take a vacation and um, I was up I took one day went to Bush Gardens and they have a big primate exhibit in Bush Gardens and I just wanted to you know I keep forgetting the percentages there but it is 40 percent uh, rest that uh, that that primates go through in a in a 12-hour period and that's just resting so they all get good sleep I can say that I went. I got. I get up every morning with the sun. That, of course, remember I was raised farming and everything else. But I've always gotten up early. I love getting up early. I love to be the first one on the beach, walking down the beach. Although I'm so far away from the beach, 20 minutes, I don't go there anymore. But I, I got a dog to walk. So I love morning time. I am a late stayer upper though. I'm always up to about two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I do a lot of meditating. I do a lot of things, but uh, truly, it would be nice to be able to go to bed a couple hours after dark and uh, cut it in and get up in the morning early. It's a great ritual to get involved in. If you can get back to the simplicity of life and everything else, that'd be so cool. I'm so busy, it doesn't work out that way, but that would be so cool to get that way, absolutely. And then through the day, you rest too. You play, you rest, you work, and you have fun, and you take care of your body. You know, of course, after a while, it's not good drama. <laughs> Did you watch Revenge last night? What a drama. Revenge. Could you talk about... She's getting them, though. Could you talk more about it? Okay. 
Uh, also remember the pineal gland in sleep. You want to get any type you have a weakness of the nervous system, you're going to be agitated neurologically. Weak adrenals causes a weakened myelin sheath, could, can create agitation. Obviously, high acidosis of the brain, weakness in the pineal, all these things. Uh, the bowels can affect the head. So, cleaning the body out systemically head to toe is really good, part and parcel to getting to this point of wellness and sleep uh, in that way. The problem with all this is that as you get higher in your awareness, your activity at night changes. And uh, that can have a little wear on the body too, believe it or not. So we'll talk about that one at another time. And is it better to go to sleep before 10 because they say one regenerates and heals better in the 2200 hours to two hours window? Uh, I don't know. I don't, you know what, I don't. I think going to bed before 10 is a good idea. I'll never see that, but I think it's a good idea myself. All that stuff about uh, oh, uh, uh, circadian rhythms, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, how much is true and how important is sleep and why do we sleep? And do we have pictures of eyes where they were bad, not healthy, where they turned blue or brown? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well couple of years, two or three years maybe, to get from a really dirty to fairly clean, two or three years probably. You can see changes within six months, uh, and I've told you changes we've seen within a month or two of the strong constitution people. You know, everything's variable that way. I'll say this, this guy brings up some interesting stuff here, though, I'd like to address. Uh, and... Um, I think there's a point where one has to stop being the effect and you start being the cause. And this is true in your life emotionally, mentally, and physically. So empowering you with the awareness of rest and happiness, you don't need to lay your body down to rest. You need to quiet your mind to rest. You don't need to lay your physical body down to rest. You need to cut down your desires and your, your emotions to rest. You need to be the cause instead of the effect. When you're involved in your drama, you're not going to rest easy. When you're outside of your drama, you can rest as your drama continues to play. But you must separate yourself. You also can learn how to relax in every moment because you're awake in every moment. Unless your mind starts to keep you thinking, and oh, I got to go with you, and you start thinking, and then you lose that awakening, and then you're trapped, and then you lose your self discipline. Because as you lose your energy and as you use your bodies, you lose your ability to control. Because now your bodies are in control. The mind is an ever ongoing process of thinking, rationalizations, comparisons, that whole idea of, Ooh, we create this, oh, we can have this, we can do this, and this is how creation builds, 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 changes and builds and builds. That's the mind that does that. The awareness behind it is a totally different thing. And that's a good place to rest. Getting the body detoxified so, the, like I said, the brain and the body is get these acids out. Acids are irritating and, and um, you know, inflammatory. So it riddles the body with activity. So rest from, comes from all levels, but if you can get in the seat of your own chair, in your own consciousness, then you will be the controller and not the effect of rhythms of all types, ley lines, things. You can feel them, but you're not affected by them because you're so much more than they are. Keep in mind, these are just the, the tools of creation, and you're so much more than creation ever thought to be. You're the creator of it. So getting to that position and not being the effect makes a big, big deal. And that includes rhythms and vibrations of the planes and the, and the various realms or heavens, whatever you wish to call them. You, you can, your bodies can be affected, but you come from such a far greater area, far greater, uh, I don't know how to even describe it. So don't be the effect be the cause and you'll rest better. Let things be 
and work through you while you enjoy the view, not losing yourself into what you're viewing. Thanks for the question. Or take California poppy, valerian, or some other kind of sleep aid, <laughs> or gungi, or whatever. Hey, Doc, if you have a need for a tooth filling, it is a good idea to get one or not. I know mercury can be harmful. Oh, you don't want mercury at all. Use the new, uh, I, I am, uh, I, I've researched the zirconia, uh, um, Tony told me Tony told me it was uh, crystals, but I, it's not what I came up with. Uh, more porcelain-like is what I prefer, no metals. My body doesn't do well with metals, and I have to have some as implants, but my body does not like metals. That one it gets along with. Any base metal your body likes a lot, like calcium and stuff, but when you get into your acid metals like iron and, and stuff, they're not so much. Uh, mercury the same way, not, not, and aluminum, not real accepted medical metals by the body. But is there a way of regenerating your current teeth? What would you do? Thanks. Well, to be honest with you, the regeneration of teeth is this, uh, and the degeneration of teeth is the same problem everywhere else. And I'm right in the mix with all of you. This is the lymph system. I didn't get deep enough. I didn't have the herbs. And then through the years, I just got away from a little bit. Deep, deep tissue work, that is. So I don't do a lot of deep tissue work on myself. Need to get in there. And I am, as I get all this set up, I'm taking some R&R &R for a while and going to dig. But this is the problem with me is you don't get these lymphs moving in these areas. You can always fill your lymph nodes under here. You don't get this lymph moving. It'll just keep chewing on your teeth. And that's what's happened to me. You know, we were milk drinkers my whole head. You know, it's like, ugh. You know, and that's why I'm passionate about the babies and everything else. Please don't walk down our road because we can speak from experience what, what not to do. And that's the beauty of older people. They can speak what not to do. What's that hole? What's that? that, that uh, uh, yeah, that might be a little steep for you there. Or, ooh, there's a big pitfall over there. That's the point. And I respect those that have the experiences. That's why this is you take what I do and you just take off and grow more and learn more about it. And most of this education is going to have to be observed science as opposed to science because the current science we have now, a lot of it's theories. Just, just, just get a book on chemistry and start reading about the different theories. So where do you bridge theory from actuality? In clinicals, right where you're working on the person itself. What works, what doesn't work. Forget science. What works and what doesn't work. You know enough about science in terms of chemistry to understand what side is the problem, but even if you didn't know that and all you knew is how to clean people out and strengthen the body up, that's all you'd need to know. <laughs> Kicking the butt for some academics. But I love academics. Don't get me wrong. I'm not preaching against academics. So if someone takes off on that, I'm not preaching against it, but there's a point where you have to separate yourself from your mind and you be the master now. Or all that education will go for no. And you'll be killing people like, uh, like medical doctors who have all the education, but they don't know, they don't have the view. They don't understand truth. They have pieces and pieces and pieces and pieces, but they don't have the whole. And you guys are getting the whole. So we have to understand by getting the whole, then you can put the pieces where they go or where they don't go. Herpes cure, detox. Is it true you have cured people? Oh, all the time. Uh, this is Slugo, 832-2003. I have many friends, but yeah, a lot of people have herpes nowadays. And don't be disgraced by it, guys, because, you know, this started back in pharmaceutical land again. Here we go again, tainted uh, vaccines. Uh, you know, this is some bad stuff. We're most we're a huge product of allopathy. Just take a look around at how we dealt with swollen tonsils, how we dealt with any type of lymphatic issues, how we dealt with all these things, surgeries, antibiotics, suppression, vaccines, forget natural immunities, don't understand culturing mediums, you know, keep looking at these, bubonic plagues, looking at all this, always going after the little creatures of life and not understanding culturing mediums. Why did some survive and one, some didn't? What's going on with that? Why do some people can't hand live vaccines and some, you see, you have to understand culturing mediums. You have to understand the differences that we are internally with our genetic weaknesses and how that affected our ability to move or eliminate waste, be it acids from cells, be it waste from the colon. 
you know, all digestive waste. We are in a very serious elimination problem right now, which now has created serious problems with digestion, serious problems with absorption, serious problems with utilization, the glands, and of course, all from, so it's backed itself up, and now we have problems with all of it. So we have to start with elimination and back ourselves or work ourselves toward the problem. That's why your problem can still exist until you fix the proper elimination. That's all I know, guys, and I think it's very simplistic, it's very spot on, and it works every time except for the advanced cases. Yes, we do, but you just have to remember. People are very advanced today, and I just feel my heart goes out. I have to keep looking, and we should all keep looking at the fact that we're all these spiritual beings here having a human experience, and some are not having a very good one, and I, my heart goes out to every one of you. We don't know all the answers, so don't, you know, but we, we, we know a lot of them, and enough to get most people well. Uh, there's a lot more we can go down this road. Is it perfect where you get perfect sleep and you go to bed at this time every time and everything? No. But having a lot more rest in your life, having good food in your life, detoxifying the body, not just changing the diet. You've got to get in and fix and, and clean. It isn't enough just to, to eat raw now. It isn't enough to do that. It was back when I was. It isn't enough to do that anymore. You're seeing it. You're seeing it. So real, real important to, uh, to uh, understand and get in there and fix these things, man. So really appreciate your question. But you can get rid of any viral load out of your body. HIV, we get rid of it all that. Uh, uh, hep C. But remember what system you're dealing with and what the role of viruses are. I've done plenty of videos on them. All right, let's see if we do. Live in the now. I love that one. Uh, in Dan 3, Dr. Morris, I hear you speak about living in the now and to find our joy. Is it so important, but, but what if the now is too painful? Well, there shouldn't be any painful in the now. I know a lot of people are, that's a good question, because I'm sure a lot of people, you know, hide because of their pain. But if you hold pain in, there's only one person that suffers, and that's you. Nobody's worth that, and no acid is worth that. Nothing is worth your happiness and your joy, so you've got to clean this out. And if there's something that's painful, send it on its way, because nothing can hurt you. It can hurt your bodies. You can be raped. You can be tortured. You can be all kinds of ways. Your bodies can, but no one can hurt you. The memories are there, but if you get beyond the emotional body, you get into the now where soul is, where you are, those things will go away. They won't be there. And if you get there, more now you get the fading of the, the, the memory of the mind. It'll be there if you want it, but it'll, it'll keep it outside of that because in the total now, there is no memory. That's one of the problems that I'm having and that a lot of people have by working in the now is that if you don't use the mind a little bit, boy, you can find yourself hard to use the mind. I can't think. I can't. And there's a real touch and go here. And Paul Twistle mentioned one time, you know, you get too much in the now, I mean, too far up into the higher realms, hard to come back. And I can see exactly what he's saying. Had many experiences up in these higher realms that was very hard for me to get back here. So, oh, I don't know, you know, I, I think it, that, that's the only worthy pace to be, dear one. So keep working in the now and don't let anything that's happened in your past affect your consciousness in the now. Those are simply experiences, some good, some bad. These are, that's what creation is, is a whole bunch of experiences. When we're right into the experience, it's real. When we pull back and we're looking at the experience, the experience is a lot less real. It's like me looking at you and then changing and looking over here. Now, you're dead to me, and this is alive to me. Wherever I put my attention, well, what is my attention? Not mind. Only when the mind kicks in and starts thinking, and going, oh, yeah, that's color green, and this is red, and this is purple, and this is blue, and this is that. That's the mind. But just the moment consciousness of awareness can never fade, can never run, and it never hide, because it's always there. It invades all things and is ever-present. It is the God of all things. Notice all animals look at the eyes, and some animals eat the eyes out first. The eyes, the windows. Uh, emotional reasons or physical pain in our bodies. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. 
you might learn some out of body travel. If you have that much pain in your body, it'd be do you hoove you well to learn out of body travels and just get out of that body for a while and maybe get above where you can see maybe some more things that are holding you back. Uh, this kind of gives me an idea that this person has emotional issues. They have weak adrenals and therefore the kidneys, the pain in the body from the backing up of the lymph. And this might be a case we are where you need to hit that now where these emotional things can dissipate. Just kiss them off. See you later. I understand why you're there. Uh, see you later. Don't come back. Don't let it in. Don't let these things in. Become strong in yourself because you're all that matters. You're all that matters. No other, no other experience that you had was just an experience. Don't, don't let that affect who you are. You just got to work yourself to that because down here, there's no rule books. There's no nothing. And the only thing I can say is become strong. This is a world where you don't want to be weak in anymore. You can't afford to be the weak link. You can't afford to be like a leaf blowing in the wind. And you can't afford to be unaware because the governments are just rolling right over the people. And the people are now standing up. So major, major, major fight, major fight. But it's, it's not just at this level. you got to understand that this level is more of an effect. The fight is at the mental levels and the emotional levels. And it impacts this level 100%. I know thinking of the past or obsessing about the future serves us no good purpose either. So what is one to do? Love your channel and you. And for, oh, thanks. Thanks, Indy. Uh, in Dan 3, uh, one is to just keep working with that ever and now because when it's time to drop your body, you'll, you'll have worked yourself into some very high levels of experience. You'll go from a, a very uh, a constipated, mundane level of inertness to the allness and ecstasy of, of the infinite. And so the more you work on that, more important. I kind of dropped health years ago because this was so, this was the essence of who we are, our survival throughout eternity, our awareness of the God of us in us, all of this thing. Uh, health, good, feels good, is good, important, vitals, no question about it on all levels. But survival of you, above all things. Of course, you never always will survive. You never will not, not survive. You realize that. But it's the awareness of that fact that makes the difference. So thanks for your, your, your insight there. Appreciate it. This is N-Y-G-U-E-N-I-F-Y. Now, I've never read any of these ahead of time, so whatever we're reading, I'm reading. So I'm in naturopathic medicine school. And our profession is becoming, uh, yeah, hydrolyzed with allopathic medicine. No kidding. Doesn't that make you mad? That makes me mad that, that, that the Bashir and Southwest, uh, you know, these, these are medical doctors. All right? So I don't know what to say. We, we, you, you're hit right on, right on here. They're infusing us with this type of consciousness. How, how do you ever find wellness if there's, with, with all those avenues shut down? And that's the goal of the World Bank and, 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 and this whole nine yards, the, the, the feelers that, that is encompassed. Oh, no, these guys are very smart. Remember Rockefellers? These guys are very smart. And so they've, they've, they've mafia, mafiaized? They, they, they've set this up. So, yes, 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 yes. Sad, 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 sweetheart. Take what you can out of the school. Take this. Understand this is taking what you're learning a little higher. Get your A and P. Get how to pronounce these words. Well, they probably won't be that long. You know, get, get how to do all that and then know what to be true. Go after it the right way and you'll be a very successful naturopath and then you can work with us to change naturopathic consciousness because there's medicine and naturopathy are, are oxymorons. Totally. We have nothing to do with medicine. And if we get out, we have everything to do with health and vitality and spirituality. We have nothing to do with the treatment of diseases. And as soon as nature paths learn that, they'll be so better off. And the deficiency syndrome, they'd be so much better off to drop that. I mean, so many naturopathic medicine graduates in here didn't know how to cure crap. You go to school for five years, you better get out of that school to cure any and everything you come in contact with. If you're not, my cliche is, why did you go to school for? Yeah. I am. I'm cutting. Huh? I'm cutting. Okay, you want to show them that little kitty thing? Huh? You want to show them that cute top? Hey, yeah, you want to see something cute? Come over here. This is from a pregnant lady. Take a look at this. Are we on here? We got a skeleton, a little heart, and we got a little baby in there. It's the little Halloween shirt. Little Halloween shirt. <laughs> I'm almost done. Okay. Don't leave. Don't leave. 
Uh oh. You're done. Okay. I'm done right now. I'm closing right now, and I'll be right there. Thank you. Uh oh. They're coming after me. Uh uh. -oh. Oh, this is Angry Man, a Angry American. I, I, I talked to you uh, the other day. I hope the video's up for you, man. Uh, what does Dr. Morris recommend for osteoporosis? Now, I just talked on that earlier in this video, and so I want you to listen to that part on this video, Angry Man, but I did address your problems. Good body, dude. Uh, but uh, I did address you yesterday or, yesterday or the, the day before, or Friday. I'll get to these other questions. I want to finish this one up. There's not too many old-timers left. <laughs> Isn't that sad? It is sad there's not too many old-timers left. I know it. And that's the, the suck of the negative forces to itself. Well, we're here to stop that. And so come join us. And let's stop this suck toward that negativity and that, that isolation and that separation. We're one. And wellness, there's nothing like it. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for the comment, honey. Thanks. People all around me are drinking the cool aid of the new philosophy of not polarizing allopathic medicine, nature bank medicine. I swear if I graduate without getting kicked out of my record, I'll be amazed. Love you. Mwah. You know what? Yeah. I love you. This is good. I tell this person's got a great heart. This is this is a good soul. This is a good stuff. I tell you what. You're right on with that too, dear. I uh I have some osteopathic friends and I have one in particular, Dr. Van Kyle out of uh, Philly, and he wanted to start a uh, naturopathic school with me, with the old American naturopathic uh, um, uh, stuff, Benedict Lust stuff, and we wanted to start a true naturopathy school. I've got another osteopath in other places and some other, uh, other uh, respected individuals that want to be a part of this. I don't know. You know, I, I, I'm... I'm I don't know where my future lies, but certainly this is very important that we start having naturopathy schools. I went to a naturopathy school, and then somebody slamming that. You know, it's just like the intellectual mind has to slam the simplistic, and not simplistic in intellectualism, but simplistic in focus. You know, it's, the more you know isn't the, isn't the answer to life, you noticed? Yeah. So the more you know, actually, the more you realize you don't know. That's what, that's what true uh, unego knowledge is, is that you realize how much you really don't know. And that's where I'm at. Um, say what you will, you know. But I really just, just look at this and say, my God, at least we know enough to get people well. Look at all what we don't know. And, and, and that's in the context of naturopathy. But such a pure science, it's just so beautiful because everything makes you feel good and it's, it's all geared to your wellness. It's not playing with diseases that don't exist, deficiencies that not taking in consideration glandular steroids or hormones and that back focus. It's just all out of mix. And people are spending tons of money on supplements and not getting well, getting the MSMs and getting sulfured up again in our way. We're, we're doing the nature palate. We're doing the auto palate. We're sulfuring them up with MSM and glucosamine. We're claiming it's the natural way. See what I'm saying? We, we are the purists. If there was purists, we are. We might not be able to live that way and diet all the time. But certainly we are getting there. So I love you all and thank you for your lovely comments. I appreciate you all. I hope that uh, you all are doing well. You definitely have my support and blessings with you. Watch your dreams.